Native warm season grasses are native to an area growing in the warm months of the year and becoming dormant during fall and winter. They differ from cool season grasses, which actively grow during spring and fall. Native warm season grasses provide good wildlife habitat, haying or grazing, and help against soil erosion and even flooding. Establishing native grasses requires proper knowledge, planning and care. We'll cover five basic steps to follow. These include site preparation, seed purchase, planting, evaluation and management. Let's look at the first step, site preparation. The condition of your field before planting is an important factor in establishing native grasses, just like it is for corn and other crops. Prior to planting, a field's soil fertility and acidity, or pH, should be checked. Fertility is determined by having a soil sample analyzed in a laboratory. Added fertility is generally not needed unless the planting is intended for forage production or required by a cost share program. Your county cooperative extension office can provide you with a soil testing kit. Plan to test at least six months before planting. If you decide to apply lime and fertilizer, follow soil test recommendations. Applying fertilizer without a soil test can do more harm than good. It can promote weed growth and waste your money. If fertilizer is necessary, do not apply nitrogen the first year. Weedy grasses and broadleaf plants will respond more quickly to the added nitrogen than the young native grass seedlings. If soil is too acidic, grass seedlings will grow poorly. Lime must be applied at least six months prior to planting in order to neutralize acidity. As you prepare your site, make sure that any existing vegetation is killed first before you seed. Tillage needs to be completed and enough time given to establish a firm seed bed. If using herbicides, weed control operations should start in the fall before seeding. Have an agreement worked out ahead of time if you are relying on someone else to do the site preparation work. Spring field work often competes with other ag operations and could delay your planting. A firm seed bed is critical for seedling survival. Disc fields need to be rolled or cultipacked before planting. Clean, tilled fields and broadcast seedlings should be rolled after seeding for good seed to soil contact. If your foot sinks in while walking on the field, the seed bed is too loose and your plants might die. Weedy vegetation must be controlled. Depending on the species to be removed, this process may start months or in some cases, a year before the actual planting. So what are weeds and how do you know which ones to control? A weed is any plant that will compete with your grass planting and delay establishment. It can be a heavy sod forming grass like tall fescue, woody shrubs and small trees, or other herbaceous plants such as Cerisia lespedeza, foxtail, or napweed. Weeds can even be the seeds from dozens of plant species lying dormant in your soil. However, you have many ways to control weeds through the use of herbicide, tillage, prescribed fire, or a combination of methods. In some cases, multiple treatments are necessary to achieve weed control before planting. If using herbicides, be sure the product can control the problem plants without harming the native grasses that will be established, such as native forbs. Mowing by itself is not an effective means of controlling competing vegetation. Mowing is helpful when it is used with any of the other practices mentioned. Dozing may be necessary where woody vegetation is too large for other control methods. The key to weed control depends on your ability to identify the plant species to be controlled. Understand the various control options. Determine the most cost-effective control measure. Assess any environmental risks associated with the control. And access equipment or qualified contractors for handling the job. Site conditions and problem weeds may vary from field to field. Therefore, no single control method applies to every situation. Remember, planting native grasses can be expensive. Ignoring weed control can lower your chances of success. Therefore, proper site evaluation will get you started on the right track.